Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll show you guys how you can design and mock up your logos using Photoshop. Although I don't make tutorials on Photoshop designs, but based on my uh, my poll, I believe most of my subscribers are ready to learn how to design and do other things with Photoshop. This is Photoshop and I'm just going to click on create new to open up a new file. To open up a new design area that I will use to set up and make my design. And then if I want to open an already existing file, I can click on the other one, open. So here I'm just going to select the kind of um, size I want in pixels and in inches, any of the size I want. I'm just going to here go over here and then edit to centimeters, pixels, any of them, any of the sizes I want to um, design on. But I'll just leave this this way because um, this is just for tutorial purposes. So I'll just make it a big size. So if you look at the left side, you will see the Photoshop tools, the tools we are going to be using to make this design. So I'll just head to the um, to the left side and then I'll pick the test tool. So I'll just click on the test tool with the capital T. And then from here, I'm just going to type in the name of my business. I can also change or increase the font from here as you can see the properties of the test layers above i can change the font size I can change uh, color and uh, i can change the font as well so i can decide to type a specific um number of um points or font i need to make my design test bolder so i'm just going to leave this as 92 and then I will change my font to um, to Cinzel. So that's the, the, um, the font I want to use for this tutorial. You can just, um, you can change this font to any font of your choice. Or you can pick any of the fonts here. But I've just installed this font. So I'm, I'm just going to make use of this font, Cinzel Decorative Bold. All right. So from here, I will click on Design Area and then as you can see, this is the default, um, the default um, test. All right, so I'm, I'll make use of this default test for this tutorial. You can edit this and then type in your name, All right? So I'm just going to decrease this because it's too bold. So I'll head to the um, to the um, fonts. All right, I'll just select this. I'll long press and then I will select and I'll head to the font size. And then I will choose um, a lower font. And then I'll click OK, the tick button, or I'll use the Enter key. So from here, I'll go back to the Move to. All right, so I'll go to the Windows to enable the layers so I can see the steps of the work I'm doing. As you can see, the layers are here. So I'll go over to Windows, and now to the Move to. So I will be able to move um, this layer. To the middle of the design or to any part of the design area so guys to duplicate your test layer what you will do is to place your cursor on the test layer of the layer you want to duplicate and then hold the alt key on your keyboard and then you draw the cursor downward to copy all right from the layer i've duplicated i'll just move it up move um this up So I'll just move this up so I can see that layer. And then from here, I will type in my slogan. So I'll double click on the small box. So I'll be able to see the properties to edit. So I can change the um, font type and I can swell change the font type. So let me pick another, um, another type of font for the scissor. Remember, you can use any font of your choice. All right, so I can reduce this to a smaller font. So I'll just head over here and pick a font. Think this should be great. And then I'll click the Enter key or just check this um, this icon. And then I'll place this at the center. All right, so guys, the next thing I will do now is to 
import my PNG. So I will go to place embedded. So this will lead me to my PC storage and I'll just import the PNG file I want to use for this video. You can as well make that design using your pencil too, but for this tutorial, I'll just need to import the design. It's an already made um, PNG design, so I'll just import it and then I'll place it here. So guys, if you're new to my channel, subscribe and as well click the notification icon so you can get notified whenever I release a new video on any graphic related designs. So let's wait while this loads. So once this loads, you hold um, the shift key and then you draw this so your design will be straight and um, not diverting or making any other irregular shape. So hold the shift key and then use this to draw it down and place it somewhere so the shift key will let your design um be straight and normal so guys once you are done setting up um and placing the png uh at the best place um that you like at the place that fits it, fits it well you then click the enter key or you check the tick icon all right so the next thing i will do is to um, replicate that same procedure i made earlier in copying um one of the test um one of the test layer so i'll just go over to the test layer holding my um my alt key my alt key and then drawing to copy so i want to make an initial um letter so i've just copied i just need to move it and then I'll pick the L and the I. So I just need to edit this, double click the box that has the T on the layer. And then I'll pick just the L and I as my initial. Remember guys, you can decide to change the colors, but I just want to make it of only black for this tutorial. You can change the colors via this um, properties above that has the block um, rectangle. So now you place this at the center remember alignment matters in your design make sure all your designs are at the center of the um, canva one thing about photoshop is that it gives you that um those alignments that's alignment that fits your stuff and makes it um unique and at the center all aligned in all angles So to uh, undo your mistake, you can press Ctrl Z to undo your mistake. Or you can just head over to edit and undo your uh, your work. Redo undo. So the next thing I'm going to do is to hide the background. So you just scroll down and you can see that white background. And then you click the eye icon to hide. I want to save this as a PNG file. So I'll head over to file. And then I will click on, oh, sorry, not export. I will click on save, save as, so files, then save as. So you choose the location where you want to save and then search for PNG Photoshop format. So that can, this, this can save, sorry, so that this can save your file in PNG format. So I'm just going to search for PNG and then click on it and then put a file name and then save. So the next thing I'm going to do is to show you guys how to mock up the design. I already have a PSD mockup here. So I'm just going to open up that file and mock it up just as we do with photo P. So guys, don't forget to like, share and um, subscribe. Share to your friends who are, um, who are willing to learn to design, to make their design easy and fast. So I'm just going to pick a story to save. I'll save it on my desktop and then I will save. All right, since this is saved, the next thing I will do, all right, just save. Okay. The next thing I will do is to head to files again and then open a new, just open. This open means for you to open an already uh, existing PSD file. So I'll just search for that PSD file I want to open. And then I'll import that PSD file. All right. 
so this is loading the PSD markup file so from here I'll head to the layers and double click on the tiny rectangle at this layer so I'll just double click on it and wait while it loads So the next thing I'll do is to go to the layers and double click on the tiny square again. Yeah, it's a square. The tiny square, just double click. And it will open the, the last place where I can place my image. So from here, I will just head to files and then place embedded to import the design we've made earlier. So there are several methods in doing this, but this is what I want to use. Import the design we've saved. So you look for the design where you save them and then you import. So once the design is imported, we just need to hide the initial design. So you click on the eye icon of the other design. So once that is hidden, we can then transform this one to increase it to transform you just need to press ctrl t to transform ctrl t to transform so from here you can increase to the desired size and um, position and then once you're done you can click you can check this um tick button or you press the enter key so from here if I want this to reflect on the other design, we need to save this. So you can press save or you press Ctrl S. Alright. So let's wait while this save this. This is just updating the smart object just like um, PhotoP saving as a smart object. So to check if the changes you've made um, have reflected on the previous design. You just need to head to these tabs as you can see the tabs above your design so click on that your design the initial tab and then wait while it loads your design as you can see the reflection has been made all right so if you want this to as well reflect in the previous one with the other wooden background you click on file and save as well or you click on ctrl s so that this can reflect on the previous design so let's wait why this um saves all right so in the same way you click the previous tab as you can see it has reflected so from here the next thing to do is to save the design so you head to files and then save as you can save as png you can save as jpg so you just need to choose the kind of file you want to save it as you can save it as a project by saving as Photoshop um, PSD file. So you just select the type of file you want to save and then you click on save. All right. So once it's saved, go to the save location and then you will see your file. So thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, share, like, and see you all in my next tutorial. I hope this, I hope this.